I never heard of OSA before unless and until I joined for my PhD and my advisor is the one, Dr. Walidus Muhammad. So he's the one who suggested me about OSA and then uh, we spoke with our friends and then we started a chapter. The first major impact was like in having an invited speaker. Uh, first we had a talk with uh, Dr. Arthi Agarwal. She is one of the reason, the one who showed me like uh, the difference between theory and engineering part and how they are like uh, entanglement, the difference, I mean like they're so close, without theory you don't have engineering, without engineering like you don't prove theory. So I have to thank her uh, for introducing like how important theory is to me. And then uh, since uh, as a part of OSA activities we invited Professor Gibson, so he was um, like very cool, we got to learn a lot of things that we actually did not think about, so it opened a lot of doors. So starting with that, I got really more into OSA and then I started getting more and more information and more and more detail and more and more things that's been happening in OSA and more access to journals. So it was like quite motivating for me to uh, push the knowledge within me or within my boundary to or towards others. So this was a great platform so that I can share knowledge and also get people from different places to share their knowledge to a lot of people. So for me, I feel like it's very much important those who are into science, especially into optics and electromagnetics, getting into OSA. So it brings a lot of opportunities for them and a lot of, it opens a lot of doors so that they can explore a lot of things.